Welcome back to the Inventive Gear channel. And in this video, we go deeper into Automy, the web-based tool for vocal transformation. This time, the focus is on vocal isolation. We start with a difficult isolation challenge, then transform the output to both male and female voices. Does the result sound better than the original? Let's find out. Now, right up front, Automy asked me to make the videos for Automy to show on the channel and have provided an affiliate link that you can use if you want to give Automy a try. And they have given me free access to use this tool to make these videos. Now, the original track that I'm going to use here is from Epidemic Sound. So this is a fully mixed track created by a real producer. And I'm going to load that here into the Isolate Vocals page on Automy. Now, I did another video recently on Automy where I went over how to do voice transformations and converting the vocals into other voices and then how to then take that to the next step of creating harmonies. And in this, I'm going to show you more about how to use some of these other tools in Automy, which is just a very useful tool for a producer. So first of all, I'm just gonna drag and drop the track on here. You can see that you can put in, I believe up to a 30 minute sample into this right here. And we'll play a little bit of it so you can hear what the full mix sounds like. And then later on, let's see if I can jump later on. So this is a pretty kind of um, hyper pop type track and it's you can hear that vocal is distorted, it is hard tuned and it has harmonies on it. So it's a pretty good, I think, test for this. I wouldn't say that it's noisy, but I'm going to need to engage almost all of these vocal isolation tools. So we definitely want to remove all the instruments from the vocal. We want to remove background vocals, so the harmonies, and re remove any reverb and echo. I'm not going to put remove noise because it's not particularly noisy. And then from here, I'll just click isolate. Now this works kind of like a stem separation tool, but it's not really focused on giving you all of the different stems. It's really designed to pull that vocal out because then we want to take that on to the next step in this process. And you can see it goes along pretty quickly, but this track is I think about two minutes long and it will take a minute or so to do this isolation process. All right, so that took about a minute and now it's complete. Let's listen to what it's come up with. I slammed the door, said it's over like I meant it. Glass on the floor, I can be a bit dramatic. I run All right, so you'll see in the history that there is a few examples here because I was doing some experiments in between when I started this and when I did this conversion here. But now that we've got it converted, you can hear at the beginning. There's a little bit of extra and we really don't want that in there. And I also want to make sure that this is a mono file. So the next thing I'm going to do is just download that file. I'm going to load it into my own audio editor. And in this case, I use an editor called Twisted Wave, but you could use anything, any DAW or any editor like Audacity that you're familiar with. And the things we want to do is, for one thing, I want to get this to um, a mono file, convert to mono. And then this kind of stuff here, I want to silence that. Now in Twisted Wave, I just drag over that and hit S to silence it. And I'm going to clean it up. So if there's extraneous noise in the silences, I kind of want to get that out because I want to help it get a good clean conversion later on. I can be a bit dramatic, ironic metaphor, now I'm sitting in the wreckage. And hear the ugly truth unfold Yeah, no, I told you walk away Didn't think that you would Kinda hope that you would stay and fight like you should yes. 
Before I continue, I want to say, you know, obviously it's hard tuned and it is distorted, but I think that's the way it was produced. Self a little too well. Said I want to be left alone. And I think this is a good test for Autumn if it can do something with this. But There's a little music there. I'm not cutting it because I might want to synchronize this to the track later, but I'm just silencing that part. So I'll continue this. I'll save this as a mono file, and then I will come back to Automy to convert this vocal into some other voices to see what kind of results we can get. All right, so I've gotten through the entire file. I'm gonna save this and then we're done with the editing. Now let's go over to the Convert Vocals page and I will load this file in. And I've also made sure that it is saved to a mono WAV file before I loaded it in here. This will work much better with the mono file. Now, I don't know the key and because I don't, clearly I do not need to pitch correct this, but if I did wanna know the key, it doesn't show it, at least it doesn't right now. I would, I wish that it would show it here, but if you wanted to know the key, go to the Make Harmonies page and load it in there. I see it's too long. Well, you could load a little piece of it in there and it would, look up the key for you there. So let's go back to the convert vocals page. And then I want to try to convert this. We don't need to do any of this. I'm going to leave all these at the defaults for this. And then let's switch the voice. And I've set a few favorites in here. And this one is Blanca, which sounds like this. <laughs> And you can see that her demo there is in Spanish, but we're going to give this a try anyway because I like the quality of that voice. And then now that I've got that chosen here, all I need to go down to the, do is go down to the uh, bottom here. Oh, and convert is staying on the page now. I suggested this after the previous video a couple of things, and it seems like they have done them. One of them is that vibrato which actually suppresses vibrato, was named vibrato on here, and I thought it added modulation, and I suggested that they change this, and they have changed that to D vibrato. And also, I kept having to scroll down to hit convert, but what they've done is made it so convert stays on the page, and so you could just hit it here without scrolling down. Pretty cool. They also do add voices regularly. Almost every week I see one or two additional conversion voices added. So I'm going to hit convert and this will take a short time. And of course this does work better on shorter clips typically, but a couple minute song it will work just fine. All right, so that conversion is done in, uh, I would say, less than a minute. Now that sounds really good and very different. If we compare it to the original, it's actually cleaned up a lot of that fuzziness that was on the original. Also, the auto-tune effect is not is not there or not as obvious. Pretty amazing and what a, a useful tool this is if you're working on demos or if you wanted to adapt a stock music track to your particular video and you wanted a different vocal quality. This is a very interesting way to do it. Of course, you would need to take your your original mix and remove the vocal from that with a different tool. Automy doesn't do that, but you've got plenty of tools. Almost every DAW now has implemented stem separation, plus there's plenty of other uh, systems to do that as well. So I'm gonna switch the voice now to Julian, which is one of the new voices that they've added recently. And because it's a male voice. Can you give me a minute? Oh, tell me why. Why you changing my mind? I don't know if this will work or not, but what I am going to do is knock it down an octave. Since that does go pretty high in the register, we'll go down an octave for a male voice, and then I will hit convert. All right, so let's take a listen to this with Julian. I slam with the said it's over like the mantic glass on the floor. I can be a bit dramatic. Ironic, play the four, now I'm sitting in the wreckage. 
And hear the ugly truth unfold Yeah, I know I told you walk away Didn't think that you would Kinda hope that you would stay and fight like you should Guess I played myself a little too well Said I wanna be left alone But I never met all the way though All right, so what I've done is I've loaded Studio One, which is my DAW that I'm working on for this project. And I'm gonna run stem separation here, which I've already adapted it to the, the correct tempo by running a tempo detection, Studio One, and set it to 130. And so it's all aligned to the grid. And this is the original track from Epidemic Sound. So then what I'm gonna do is do the stem separation separate stems, which is also command U in this. And what I want is select these stems to extract, and that is drums, bass, other, and I want to consolidate the stems and bounce to a new track. And I don't need the vocals in this case. And this will take a little while. So the way Studio One works is it just takes, when I've chosen it that way, it, this should just be my backing track. All right, so there's a little artifacts there, but the point is, is that I wanna then test it with my other two new tracks, which I'm gonna just try dropping in there. It looks like they will align. This one here is Blanca, and then Julian, which is the male vocalist, will put on this next track. We'll mute that one, and let's see how this sounds with the vocal replaced. Now, of course, we would add some effects, some echo or reverb to that, but the point is, is that it matches the track. It sounds quite nice against that original track with it separated. So let's listen to it then with the Julian vocal. Now those would probably work pretty well together if we use Blanca for the main part of it. And of course we could build harmonies in Automy as well. We're not gonna do that in this video, but let's just listen to it with the two voices together. So that's an example of using an additional tool in Automy, the Isolate Vocals page, along with then taking those vocals, cleaning them up a little bit, and then going into the Convert Vocals, which takes the kind of rough stem separated vocal and then converts it into a really nice usable sound that you can choose the voice you'd like to put to it. And that really gives you flexibility with loops or stock music to really customize them to match the project that you're working on. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with another video very soon. So dumb.